to infinity and beyond. What's up everybody, Roger and James here from Infinity and Beyond, presented by DiscKingdom.com and DiscGaming.com. In this episode, we're going to kind of go a little bit off the beaten track, and we're going to talk about the recently announced Super Nintendo Classic Edition, um, which is a brand new little portable little, or say portable, tiny little device. It's <laughs> going to be coming out end of September, beginning of October, depending on your region. going to include, I think it's 21 games. I'm literally just going to run through a list of these games here. Um, so we have got uh, Super Mario World, Super Mario Kart, The Legend of Zelda Link to the Past, F-Zero, Super Metroid, Street Fighter 2, Castlevania 4, Donkey Kong Country, Mega Man 10, Kirby Superstar, Final Fantasy 3, Kirby's Dream Course, Star Fox, Yoshi's Island, you've also got Mario RPG, Contra 3, Super Secret of Mana, Earthbound, and Super Ghouls and Ghosts, and also we have got... Um, in there, there's gonna be Star Fox 2, which has never been released. Now, I was lucky. I was very lucky that um, I think I was on the Discord. No, no, it wasn't even the Discord. It was I was literally I was on Disney on Nintendo's own website on the eShop looking at stuff to, to download a game for my Switch. Just as it came up, it came up on the front screen that it was available to pre-order, and I pre-ordered it through Nintendo's official website and I got and I got through because I'd been trying for game an, an earlier night and it just every the whole site had been crashed because what happened is when they announced it then the UK retailers put them all up at Amazon and game and what was happening was all the Americans were so desperate to pre-order the Americans were crashing our servers because they were all trying to and also they looked different because we had a different model here I say different. We had the proper model. You had some weird looking box. I don't know what the hell that yeah, was it's like. Yeah, weird. Um, you know, it, you know, certain things like that. Yeah, but in my head, my head, this the one that we had. That was the Super Nintendo. You had this like we didn't. You didn't really see that. You know, we didn't know what yours looked like because obviously the internet wasn't around back then. So <laughs> you know, right. So that's the thing. But it's a, it's definitely an interesting package. Did you did you decide to pull the trigger on this one? I did not pull the trigger on this one. Um, I didn't on the NES, and that's not because I couldn't find it. This is not uh, a package for me. And the reason for that isn't, you know, the games. Because if I was going to put together a list of games for the Super Nintendo that I wanted to play again, I think a lot of them would be on this list. Mm. So, yeah, absolutely. It's a great package. They picked some fantastic games on this list. The reason I don't want the Super Nintendo Classic or the Nintendo Classic is simply I don't want yet another system cluttering up my uh, TV entertainment system, whatever you could call it these days. And I really would much rather just have these on the Switch. Yeah. Uh, I'd rather pick a la carte. These are the games that I want. And I'd, be, and I'd love to be able to take them on the go with me, which is that big advantage the Switch has. I am hoping that when the Virtual Console comes out, a lot of these titles will be there. Um, I'd love to play Star Fox 2, because yeah. I've never played that one, obviously because it never came out. Mm. Uh, but some of the games on this list, Earthbound, Final Fantasy III, Super Mario RPG, Donkey Kong Country, uh, Super Mario World, Super Mario Kart, Legend of Zelda Link to the Past, and, like, you know what, I would happily drop mm -hmm. even more than 50 or 60, whatever this ends up being in the Super Nintendo, yeah. you know, buying them a la carte for the Switch, being able to take them on the go. This is one hell of a lineup. Yeah. I mean, Far better than the NES lineup was, yeah, I think. Yeah. Um, I mean, for me, this... I'll be honest. This was a little bit of an impulse purchase. Um, I I didn't get. The, I was probably going to pick up the NES one. I I was going to. I was waiting till after Christmas until the price came down and I'd be able to get it easily. That didn't work. That plan. Yeah. Didn't, I I just thought that's all right. I'll get it after Christmas when I can just when it'll be you know thinking like the Mega Drive ones where they're always discounted and stuff. Then no, Nintendo have gone a different route. It was an impulse purchase. I was on the website. I saw it available and I decided to go for it because it was like if I don't get it, if I didn't get it, I wouldn't like. I'll be honest. If they cancelled my pre-order now, I'd be annoyed because I brought it through Nintendo. But it would be a bit like okay, fine, whatever. It's my life is not going to be any different if I don't get this machine. I can download the ROMs, I can play, and I would much rather these be on the Switch, without a doubt. But there was a little bit of part of me that just went, I got a little bit maybe caught up in it. I was like, yeah, I'm going to go for it. Um, there's a load of games here that I would want to play on the Switch. Like, you know, if they release Super Mario World, or and I'd, I would be like, I'd buy that one and get that. Yeah, um, there's some games no on here, however, that um, the reason... 
what I'm interested in is a few t- games that I've never played that I want to play linked to the past. I've only played really Twilight Princess and, and um, Breath of the Wild. Now I've like, okay, I would like to try Link to the Past. I've never played a Metroid game. Um, and now I'm like, okay, everyone's going bonkers about Metroid. It would be nice to kind of have a bit of a history of that. So Super Metroid is a game that I want to try out. Um, I've never played a Kirby's game. And now they, they announced a new one coming for the Switch. I'm like, okay, cool. I'll give that one a go. There are some other games here that, um, you know, I've got no, I've never got, no, I've never played Earthbound. I've got no idea what that one is. Um, uh, uh, that that one's probably not your style. You've no. you've said in the past you don't like the turn based RPGs. No. That's that's what Earthbound is. It it's it's another Final Fantasy three style game. And it's actually kind of interesting because um, remember I said I wanted to try out some of the Capcom games to to remind right. myself of what some of these characters are from the upcoming Marvel vs. Capcom. And I was going to purchase Ghouls and Ghosts, a Mega Man game, and a Street Fighter game. And also, I'm trying to think, um, yeah, that was it. I was going to pick up a few copies of some of the older games to have in my collection to um, see who these characters are a little bit more. And I was going to get Mega Man Legacy Collection and Super Street Fighter 2 on the Switch. I'm not going to bother now because I know I've got them in. I've got, I'm have got. i going to wait a week or two and I will just play a little bit of Street Fighter. I mean, Street Fighter 2 was amazing. It was like, Mike, I love that mm-hmm. game. But Mega Man X and Super, it's like they're on here, that's fine now. So that kind of ticks a box and saves me, I'm not going to bother buying them anymore. Unless Street Fighter 2 on the Switch drops down to like 20 quid. But I just thought, isn't it, it's a great little package. I'm going to have a bit of fun with this. I'm, you know, would I buy all of these on the Switch the minute they came out? Probably not. Some of them, I, you know, Super Punch Out, Final Fantasy 3, I wouldn't touch. Um, but you know, I just thought, you know, I just made a little bit of an impulse because it's funny for me and the Super Nintendo. It was a bit of an odd one because the best mate had one, so we always used to go around his house to play Mario World and Mario Kart. And I had the Mega Drive, but my brother, my parents brought my brother the Super Nintendo, so I always used to go in my brother's room to play the Super Nintendo. And if he came home, if he was at, not out with his friends, I had to you know go back to the Genesis. Um, so, the, but there, I always I rented everything on the Mega Drive. So there's a load of games here I never played. Um, there are some big ones here that I did, you know, I, I remember buying Star Fox and F-Zero and um, Super Mario World, and, but then like Street Fighter 2, I bought the Mega Drive version, you know, that I was, even though I had access to a Super Nintendo, I was primarily Sega, so there's a load of games here I never played, and I probably wouldn't buy them on the Switch, because I don't, you know, at least right. they're all in one package. Yeah, there, there's several games that if when they release it on the virtual console, I won't bother picking up. Um, probably games like Super Ghouls and Ghosts, Castlevania 4, Mega Man X. I'm not really a big Metroidvania-style player, and a lot of these fall into that. But at the same time, like I said, if you were going to do a greatest hits collection of the Super Nintendo, this is about as close as you're going to get in a, doing a top 20. The only, th- or the only one that's missing that I... Wish was included was Chrono Trigger uh, again another Final Fantasy style game so not your thing but Chrono Trigger would really complete this package and we'd probably get into impulse purchase territory for me assuming it was actually yeah. available which of course yeah. it's not but that's beside the mm. point yeah I was surprised you know that I was you know when they I mean they kind of got announced so quickly but you know, it would have been great if they had like Aladdin or that would have been a, right. a cool little Disney a Disney edition. Um, or Super Star Wars, but then I suppose they've all been re-released lately. It's funny, because I think back to Super Nintendo, I just remember playing WWF Royal Rumble. Mm. I played that game to death. I used to have a little piece of sheet next to me, and I had my own champions, and I had my little, you know, you'd make up your wrestling card and all the rest of it. So that was probably like my most played um, Super Nintendo game was WWF Royal Rumble. Um, but yeah, there is, there is a load of games there, and there are some... Ones that I, you know, I know that Super Mario World, I bought on the Wii. And I know that if it comes on the Switch today, I would buy it again. Because I know I would get my money's worth for it. But there are some there that maybe this would be the thing of like, no, I don't need to buy this on the Switch because I've, I've played it and it's, I've got. And, and also there's that thing where like emulation stuff, you know, you're downloading ROMs and putting them onto my Wii. Or, and it, I've done it, you know, I've tried them out, but it doesn't feel the same to me. I do, I've gone to that point where... Sometimes, like, being able to do something for free or, you know, like, you know, 
you know, when people say, oh, you can get these streaming boxes and stuff, it's like, yeah, I've done it in the past, but it, I can't, I, I'd rather just have the official version. I wish that the official version, like either it came with some downloadable codes, if it came with mm -hmm. the virtual console or something like that, it's just, it is one more system. And yeah, I mean, there's ROMs, there's the RetroPie, there's all that stuff, but Really, I just want these on the virtual console. I would yeah. buy the Link to the Past again yeah. immediately. I, I, it's my favorite Zelda. Period. Yeah, see, I look. I look at this as a double dip because they know that most people. Are oh buy yeah, this. they know that they're going to get these people next year on Switch on these. Well, this is this is why they released this and the NES. It's not they don't actually care whether you pick up this or the old NES Classic or heck, maybe they'll do an N sixty four Classic. Who knows? But. This is building up hype for their back catalog, and that is yeah. Nintendo's biggest strength: is their back catalog, the, especially from this era, and getting people to go. Man, I really wish I could play it. Oh, hey, look, we're releasing them on the Virtual Console now. You can play it without having to wait, like, mm. you know, click F5 over and over on this page and hope to get it. Mm. And it just makes me wish the Virtual Virtual Console was already here. It should have been there at the launch of the Switch. The fact that it's still not there is practically criminal at this point. It's the main incentive I had for getting a Switch. Yeah, and it's always that thing of like, it just released a cart with eight, all the games on for 80 quid, and I would have bought, purchased it like that. I would, yeah. You know what, if this if this had been like a cartridge, like mm -hmm. you were just saying, on the Switch, it would not have been a question. No. I, I would have bought this, because mm -hmm. there's more than $80 worth of value in these games, even the ones I don't care about, yeah. the, the ones I do care about, more than make up for it. I will absolutely get them. No, it's, it's like I said, it was a cool little item. I just thought it was, you know, it, it was a, a, a little buzz thing. I think mean, there's going to be a little buzz when it comes out again. But, it, you know, they say there's going to be more of them. I think it's going to be very, very hot. I would say to anybody, don't buy one on eBay. Don't scalp it. It's no. not, not worth it. I know, uh, you know, download the ROMs, wait for it, go and buy a Super Nintendo and pick up the games, you know, pick up a... Um, um, Actually, that's a terrible idea. <laughs> pick, or pick, pick up a, um, a you know a retro or something like that. But generally, um, yeah, just just wait. There'll be most of these are going to be out on the Switch. This is this is a double dip. Um, but no, I thought it was good. I like the fact Capcom definitely seemed to jump in there with quite a few yes. ones, which I thought was good. Um, I definitely, definitely, um, a hell Konami too. Mm. So. No, it's just a shame they didn't do any Disney ones. But on that note, guys, we'd love to know your thoughts on the Super Nintendo Classic or the SNES. Or how do you pronounce it? I always pronounce it uh, SNES or Super NES. Yeah, yeah, one or the other. Yeah, SNES. Um, on that note, guys, thank you very much for watching. Be sure to hit that subscribe button. Keep up with the latest from us. You can also find us on the audio versions. You can also check us out over at disgaming.com. This month we're giving away a copy of Toto's Guardians of the Galaxy. So you'll find all the information over there. James, where can they find you? HeroicLegacy.com. And on that note, guys, so thank you very much for watching. See you guys soon. Laters. Later. Later.